Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. I'm Glenda Calkins, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today we are going to be doing a one sheet wonder out of a six by six piece of designer series paper. You will get five cards out of one six by six sheet of designer series paper. Now on Monday I showed you how I used the new in color paper to create five cards. Today I'm going to show you how I did that. So let's change the camera and get started. All right, so here are the five in color cards. Now these are all the five different in colors. And what I did was I took the five different colors of designer series paper and cut them up so I got five cards, so each in color club member will get all five cards in the different colors, but they might have a different layout than the other person, but they're gonna get the five colors, and I'm gonna show you how you can create five cards out of one six by six sheet. Now, another thing I did with this particular grouping was I paired it with the mini messages stamp set and then you die cut the whole thing out at once so you stamp it all in one color you die cut it out and then i have a clear case with all the in colors sentiments so i can put any sentiment on i want so i can leave the sentiments off if i choose or add them on like i did for these for my in color club members but that is a quick and easy way to make some cards up. Plus, if you stamp these and die cut them out and just give like a case with the sentiments and then some cards, you could do the cards all in one color like I showed on my blog and do all one color with the sentiments. That would make an awesome gift for someone. I think that would be so cool. I'll have to do it. So for today, we are going to be using the Tidings of Christmas Designer Series Paper. This is six by six, and it's paired or coordinated in the annual catalog with the Tidings and Trimmings Bundle. Now this has a bundle that with the die cuts for the stockings and the star, but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use the six by six cardstock, and then I'm also going to use the sentiments in the stamp set. They worked really well with the double oval punch. I think you could see that without a glare. And this is the everyday label punch. So I use those punches to punch out the sentiments for the cards. I'm going to be using, let me see, I love all these prints. I'm gonna be using this print right here for today's card. When you do these, you want a print that can go in any direction that is possible because with this, it can go in any direction, so that's a good one. I also like the back side, so it's a toss-up which side to use, but I am pairing this with the Evening Evergreen and the Cherry Cobbler, so let's get started on cutting this up. You can create a bunch of cards in no time. So we're gonna start with our six by six, and we're gonna cut it at four by six. So we're gonna cut that at four by six. We're going to turn it and we're going to cut it so that we have a 4x4 four four piece and a 2x4 four piece. That's card number 1 and 2 and 3 because we're going to take that 4x4 four four and we're going to cut it so we have triangles. So point to point. So that's card 1, 2, and 3. We're going to take this strip here which is 2 inches by 6 and we're going to cut that at 3. So now we have two by three, and this piece here we're going to cut at one inch little increments. So one inch by two, and then one inch by two, and I'm just going to make sure that this, it seems to be a little bit longer, so it's just a hair. but. That bothers me when it's just a hair longer than the others because all three of these are gonna go on one card. So we have those three. So those are our five cards. Now, we'll set these little pieces aside and we'll start with our triangles. 
So we have two. Now I took the evening evergreen and I cut it four by five and a quarter and I ran it through the embossing folder into the textile textures, I believe it is, embossing folder. You can find the list of supplies that I use below under show more on the video. So one of these is going to go vertical and the other one is going to go horizontally. And you can go in any direction that you like. If you want, you can create them both the same, but I'm gonna just do it a little bit different. Like I said, I like this other side too. This is the shaded or the soft succulent, which is another one of the in colors. And that would be beautiful on this evening evergreen paper as well. So I'm just gonna make sure that I'm top bottom looks good slide that over a bit and then we'll put this one on and the same we're going to put it top to bottom should be awesome just like that then i have some leftover strips after I did my die cuts and things with the cherry cobbler. So this is optional. On the ones I did in the end color club, I put the strip on this one and I didn't on that one. You can do it any way you like, but I just have a half inch by however long they turned out to be strip. And we're just gonna follow along that diagonal. just like that then you're going to turn that over and you're just going to trim off that excess and do that to both Pieces. Now the base for all my cards is the basic white and this is the thick so you can go ahead and attach those Get my adhesive down here Just like that now this one is going to be vertical so we're going to My card bases are cut five and a half by eight and a half, folded in half. And then go ahead and put your sentiments on. So I stamped and then punched out with the everyday label punch. And those can go right on there like that. The sentiments again came from the tidings and trimmings stamp set. So go ahead. You can pop them up. There's these are basic, basic cards. You can pop them up, you can add some jewels, you can add some of the images from the stamp set, however you want to dress them up. But these are your basic cards. So there's one and two. Now we have, this was left from the bottom. No, that was the other piece. This was left from the bottom, it's two by four. So we're gonna take a piece of that cherry cobbler that is two and a quarter by four, and we're gonna just attach this. It's gonna be the same length. I have another piece of our evening evergreen that I embossed again. We're gonna stick that along the side there like that. That is ready to go on to the card front. Just like that. Now I 
did the Noel, the season's greetings, and the cheers from our house to yours with the double oval punch. I did the matte in the cherry cobbler and then the sentiment on the white. You can do any of these sentiments on there, mix and match, whatever you want to do. Place that right there. There's card number three. Number four is this piece right here. Oh, and I forgot to cut my cherry cobbler for that. So I'll grab my cobbler. Two by three, so we want three and a quarter by two and a quarter. That should fit right perfectly on there. So we're going to attach those two pieces. Again, we're going to come in with that evening evergreen that is embossed. In the Tasteful Textiles 3D embossing folder. We're going to put that right there. I think I'm about running out of tape here. Put that on our card base. And then put a sentiment in the center. Like so. Final card, we have our three little pieces here. I have three of the cherry cobbler that are one and a quarter by two and a quarter. Just gonna attach those all to these little strips here. Like so. Another piece of that evening evergreen and we're going to attach those to the front. Kind of about maybe a half an inch from the top and very close to the side. Just a little bit of the evergreen showing. You're going to do that with this side. So kind of gauge that so it looks straight. I think that looks straight. And then that third one is going to come in the center just down a little bit you should have a little bit of green showing on both sides and that is ready for your card front place that on there and then one more sentiment these sentiments worked really good for the five different cards, five different sentiments, although you could put the same sentiment you would like on all five cards. Let's make sure I'm in here. But these are your five cards out of one six by six piece of designer series paper. And I think they turned out gorgeous. I mean, like I said, you could put some rhinestones on there. You could also cut some stockings or the stars and layer those on. I mean, you can really spruce them up if you want, but I think they are just beautiful the way they are. But that is your one sheet wonder for today using a six by six piece of cardstock. Now, if you need any of the supplies, click on show more under the video i have a list of all the supplies that i used on today's cards click on them to place your order with me i appreciate any and all orders if you are so inclined please use that host code you'll find it at the top there and it will be under show more as well if you are new to my youtube channel make sure that you like share follow subscribe turn on that bell in the upper right hand corner so you know when i go live give me those thumbs ups Give me those loves. Leave me some comments. I appreciate any and all feedback. That is it for today. Thanks for stopping by.